lecture we will discuss uh, the shortest path problem. Now, before we go into an algorithm to solve the shortest path problem, we will introduce something called a weighted graph. Now, we have already seen that a graph is an ordered pair of sets. So, I write G as a graph which is equal to V comma E, where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges. Now, we know what are vertices and edges. Now, when we have a weighted graph, then each edge has a weight and uh, in our discussion, we will take the edge, the weights to be greater than 0. So, Strictly speaking, we consider a function from E to positive real numbers So, we consider functions from uh, E the set of edges to R plus, where R plus is the set of positive real numbers. And these, uh, uh, this function is called the weight function and individual values of this weight function will be called the weights of edges. For example, suppose we have an edge E 1 belonging to E, we can operate the weight function on this edge E 1 and we will get W E 1 which is a positive real number and which will be called the weight of the edge E 1. Let us look at an example, let us consider a graph like this. Suppose these are the vertices A, B, C, D and E and the edges suppose E 1, E 2, E 3, E 4, E 5 and E 6. Now, each edge are assigned to some weights, possibly the edge E 1 is assigned to 1, 2, 3, 5, 4 and 7. So, that means that W E 1 or in this case since this is a simple graph we can also say that W A B is equal to 1, W E 2 is equal to W B C is equal to 2. W A C uh, W uh, E 3 
W E 3 equal to W A C equal to 3 W E 4 equal to W C E is equal to 7 W E 5 equal to W A D equal to 5 and W E 6 equal to W D E equal to 4. So, these are the weights of the edges and this graph which was originally g equal to a comma b comma c comma d comma e and edges e 1, e 2, e 3, e 4, e 5, e 6. These graphs when we consider the function w from e 1 up to e 6 that is the set of edges to the set of real numbers defined as over here becomes a weighted graph. Now, our problem here is that suppose I am given two vertices in a weighted graph, how do we find out the shortest path from the first vertex to the second vertex and by the shortest path I mean that a path such that if we add up all the weights of the edges belonging to the path we will get, get the smallest value. If we look at the graph that we just drew over here, if we consider the vertices A and vertices C and suppose we want to go from vertex A to C. Uh, we have got uh, at least three paths, one is A to B and B to C, we see the total uh, the total uh, weight is 3. So, we have got A to B and B to C, A to B is 1, B to C is 2. So, the weight is 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 the total weight o or otherwise if we could have gone from A to C the total weight is 3 well and the other possibility is from A to D, D to E, E to C, A to D is 5, D to E is 4 and e to c is 7. So, the total weight is 5 plus 4 plus 7 equal to 16. Now, of course, the shortest paths are this or this. Now, this is a small example and the graph is quite simple that is why by observing the graph and checking the weights it is possible to find out the shortest path, but it may not be so when the graph is complicated we need an algorithm and Dijkstra's algorithm precisely uh, gives us that. So, to say Dijkstra's algorithm gives us shortest path between two points. Now, we move on to Dijkstra's algorithm. Suppose we have 
got a graph where we are labeling the vertices by a b c d a uh, small letter and the edges from uh, one vertex to the other by an ordered pair. So, now this algorithm finds the length of a shortest path from the input vertices A and Z, A and Z in a connected weighted graph. The weight of the edge i j is w i j which is taken to be greater than 0. And the label of the vertex x is denoted by L x now here in this algorithm to each vertex we assign a label which initially keeps on changing and after that comes to a fixed label and that label gives us the shortest length path by which I mean the path for which the sum of the weights is the smallest, the shortest length path from the point A that is a vertex A to X and these labels will keep on changing and ultimately uh, when we take the first input as A that is we want the shortest path from the uh, from the vertex A and when we start calculating the labels at the end of the algorithm the label corresponding to Z will give the length of the shortest path from A to Z. So, the labels are denoted by L L x at the termination of the algorithm L z is the length of the shortest path from A to Z. Now, let us start discussing the algorithm. So, first step is input. Our input is a connected weighted graph with 
in which all weights are positive. and vertices A and Z. So, we have got two inputs. So, to say one is the graph on which we would like to apply the algorithm and two vertices in that graph uh, between which we want to know the shortest path. Now, the output is L z, which is the length of the shortest path from A to z. Now, we come to the algorithm that we denote by Dijkstra w, this w is the weight function of the graph g that we are using and a, z and the function l which we will see how, uh, how to compute. Now, in first step we will put L a equal to 0 and for all vertices x not equal to a L x is infinity. So, what we are doing in the beginning is that we know from our input that from which vertex we have to calculate the shortest path, we are putting the label of that vertex to be 0, that is that step L a equal to 0 and all the other vertices are labeled as infinity. Now, T is a set of vertices. other than no we leave it as set of vertices and then we will process this t now in the first step we come like this that is while z belongs to t, we start this loop, choose v belonging to t with minimum l v and then remove v from t and build up a new t and then for each x belonging to t adjacent to v
do L x equal to minimum of L x and L v plus w v x and return. So, let us see what happens our starting set of vertices is a set of all vertices and then among them among that in P we find the smallest uh, smallest uh, um, weight uh, vertex that is a vertex with the smallest level and we choose it and then we delete it from P. So, then we will get a set of vertices other than that vertex that we have deleted and then what we do is that we start scanning all the vertices which are adjacent to the deleted vertex and then we will calculate this quantity. After calculating this quantity now my p is changed I go, go again into this and we again do the same process. So, this loop will keep on happening and this loop also will keep on happening. Let us look at an example to clarify this matter. This is A and A is connected to B and the weight is 3, B is connected to D the weight is 2, D is connected to G the weight is 3, then B is connected to E the weight is 4 and here A E the weight is 9. Now, here A is connected to C and the weight of the edge is 2, C is connected to E the weight of the edge is 6. After that E is connected to G the weight of the edge is 1. Now, E is connected to H the weight being 2 and C is connected to F the weight being 9, F is connected to H the weight being 1 and here G is connected to G J the weight being 5 and G J the weight being 5 again and here J is connected to L the weight is 5, H is connected to L the weight is 9, F is connected to I the weight is 2, I is connected to K the weight is 2 again, H is connected to K which is 6 and K is connected to L which is 3. Now, suppose somebody tells me that my input vertices are A and L and I have to find out the shortest path between A and L. How do I start? Now, let us go according to the algorithm proposed by Dijkstra step wise. In the first step my T is a whole set of vertices of the graph given graph. So, let us denote the graph by G. Now, and then what I do before that is that uh, we our starting vertex is L A. So, L A is put to 0, L of anything else x is infinity for all x belonging to v g minus 
L minus A. So, other than A, all vertices are put to infinity. Now, we start with T. Now, in the first step, we will consider the vertex which has got the least label value and in this case it is A. So, we will remove from T the vertex A. So, C A has the least L value. So, remove A from T. So, I calculate T which is T minus A. Now, in that we have to consider all the vertices which are adjacent to A. The vertices adjacent to A are B, E and C. Now, we use the, the formula that is for all x for each x belonging to T adjacent to V L x equal to minimum L x L V plus W V comma x. So, this portion of the algorithm is to be used now. So, what do I do? Here my V is equal to A and the adjacent vertices are B, E and C. So, I calculate L of B to be minimum of L of B comma L of V that is L of A plus W a to b. Now, we see that L of b is infinity and L of a is 0, w a b is 3. So, we have got a choice between infinity and 3. So, the minimum is going to be 3. Then L of e is going to be minimum of L of e and then L of a plus w a e and using the same argument it is going to be 9 and similarly L of c is going to be 2 which is minimum of L of c L of a plus w a c. Now, we see that now we have a graph where I do not consider A anymore. So, that is my new P and B has bet 3 or sorry B has label 3, E has label 9, C has label 2 and all the others has label infinity. Now, when we look we go into again the while loop and we choose from T the minimum vertex that is vertex with minimum label value and that label value is going to be C over here. So, I can put the label of C to be equal to 2, incidentally label of A is 0 and then I will cut out C from T. So, now my T was T minus A original T minus 
uh, original t minus a, this is my t and now my in next uh, iteration my t will be essentially t minus a minus c. So, I will have I will also delete c. Now, when I have when I have deleted c, now I will calculate the new label values for the uh, vertices adjacent to c. Now, what are the vertices adjacent to c? The vertices adjacent to C are E and F. Okay. Now, again we will come to this step for each of these vertices we have to calculate this quantity. So, L of E. Now, we know that E has a label value that is equal to 9. So, I have to take the minimum of L E and L C plus W C to E. Now, that is minimum of 9 and L C is 2 plus C to E is just 6. So, I have to choose between 9 and 8 and which is of course, 8. So, we see that the label value of E has decreased. So, we will put L E equal to 8 and L F equal to minimum L f which is infinity and L c plus w c f. Now, if we do L c plus w c f, then we have minimum between infinity and L c plus w c f is going to be 11. So, it is 11. So, now we come back to our original graph, we see that E is now labeled as level of E is equal to 8 and level of F is equal to 11 and level of B remains at 3 and we have cut out C. Now, we go to the next iteration, when we go to the next iteration uh, our vertices which we have to consider are B, E, F and rest of the vertices are infinity. Among them we see the B is the smallest. So, we have to start with B which is 3. So, we are essentially cutting out B and then we are recomputing the labels. So, B is adjacent to D d is already infinity. So, therefore, this value L d is going to be 5 and when we come to L e, we will see that uh, it is even shorter than before and uh, uh, because if we go from A to B that is 3 and B to E that is 7. So, I have to compare between 7 and 8. So, this value of L is going to change to 7. So, I have got L E equal to 7 and L D equal to 5 and these are these are the vertices which are adjacent to B. 
So, after the cut off B, then again we have to look at the graph. So, I have got A This is A, B, then we have D over here, then we have G over here, J over here, L over here and C, F, we have E and then we have H, H is connected to J, H is connected to K and F both. And now, the weights we see that this is 3, 2, 4, 2, 3, 5 and this is 1 and this is 5, this is 5, 3, 9, 6, 2, 2, here this is 9 and this is 1. Now, what we see over here and this in between is 2. Now, what we see over here that we have taken care of 3, uh, we have taken care of 3 vertices, L A is of course, 0 and we have find that found that L B equal to 3, L C equal to 2, these are not surprising, but because of our uh, algorithm we have come to understand that L e has a sm smallest value 7 and L d is equal to 5, L f is equal to 11. Now, if we look at this one, then we will see uh, that If we look at this one, then we will see that now I do not have to consider B C B A C. So, now I will consider the values uh, uh, of B, E and F. So, uh, L D is 5. L e is 7 and L f is 11. Now, among this of course, I will choose L d. So, I will take out L d. So, this also will go away 
and then I have to find out the vertices adjacent to L D sorry adjacent to D and calculate its L value. The only vertex which is adjacent to D is G and its L value is going to be 5 plus 3 that is L G will be 8 and then so I will go to the next step. Now I will have uh, I have to consider G, E and F and when I consider G, E and F then I am going to get E as the vertex with smallest level. So, this is the vertex with smallest level. So, I have cut uh, yeah, so I have to cut out E and then consider the vertices which are adjacent to E. The vertices adjacent to E are H and G both uh, in case of H E is 7. So, it is 8 and this is uh, 7 plus 8 is 9. So, L H equal to 9. So, in this way we have to proceed and if I keep on proceeding in this way eventually I will get the L values of the other vertices we have given L values of uh, several, but let me list down I will get L A equal to 0, L B equal to 3 L C equal to 2, L D equal to 5, L E equal to 7, L F equal to it will come to 10 because we will find when we calculate from H we will find that this is 1 and H is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So, L F will at one stage come to 10 and L G, L G will be 8, L H will be 9, L I it will come to uh, 12, L K, L J, L J will be 11, L k will be 14 and eventually L l will be 17 and what is the root for 17? We will have to go to B, then from B we will come back to E. So, A to B, B to E and then E 2 will go to H like this from H we will have to come back to F yeah. So, F value is 10 and then from F I will have to go to I, I to K and eventually K to L. So, we see that L K is 14. So, L capital L is going to be 17 and that is the shortest path. We have to keep on doing um, going through the iterations and we will get this. So, this is Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm in action and this is the end of today's talk. Thank you.